day, grade 10 learners. Welcome to our English class. This is teacher Sonia Aquino, your English teacher for the day. Before we start our lesson, please take note of the following reminders. Prepare your paper, pen, and your self-learning module. Then, you can play or pause this video whenever necessary. Our topic for quarter three, week four is writing critics. With our most essential learning competencies, compose an independent critique of a chosen selection. Critique a literary selection based on the following approaches. What you need to know. First, note on the essential aspects of various literary criticism approaches. Second, identify the approach used in a sample critics presented. And lastly, critic literary selections using the appropriate literary criticism approach. Are you guys ready to answer our first activity for this day? Then, prepare your paper and your pen. Be ready to answer this activity on your paper. Choose the letter of the correct answers. Start reading and answer them. Good luck! It's time to reveal the answers. Please check your work now. Be honest! Before we jump up to our next activity, here's another one. Answer the crossword puzzle that follows. Consider the hints given. reveal the answers. Very good! I hope you got it right! And here's our motive question for this day. How do you effectively analyze literary pieces? Please answer this question on your paper. Now it's time for us to review. Last time we discussed on the types of writing. 
They are argumentative, informative, and persuasive writing. We learned that argumentative writing aims to discuss two sides of an issue and lets the readers believe to a point. Sample title Should abortion be made legal or illegal? Measuring the pros and cons. Another sample Should children be allowed to own and handle mobile phones at a young age? Informative writing It conveys information to the readers. Sample topics Emotional problems lower body immunity. Dealing with technologies that weaken quality learning. Persuasive writing primarily moves readers to believe a point and to do certain cause of action using more dramatic and intensive techniques. Here are the sample topics. There's no good freedom without some limits. Do all students need to go to college? Remember, persuasive writing gives facts and examples to support your opinion. Now get ready for our discussion. In this module, we are about to learn new things. Our new lesson for this week is about literary analysis or critic. It is a type of writing that critically evaluates a piece of literary work in detail. How do we critic? We critic by critical essay, an article evaluating a literary piece, or a review. How to do it? First, we summarize and identify the central issue. Second, raise questions. Third, take note of theoretical and experimental approaches. And lastly, reviews the significance of the results. Now let's remind ourselves about the tips in writing critics. Number one, read and understand the text thoroughly. There must be a total understanding. Second, start your critic by writing the basic elements of the story, such as title, author, main characters, setting, and the summary of the story, a brief description of the text. Now let's move on to the third, fourth, and fifth tips in writing critics. Third, summarize the story's plot. We focus on the climax and the ending of the story. State the relevance of the events to the theme. Fourth, if critiquing a poem, focus on the meaning of the lines and stanza. Look on the symbols, figures of speech, and connotations. Simply interpret the poem based from your understanding. And fifth, state an impression a literary piece. Justify also why you have such feelings towards the text.
And finally, the sixth tips. Choose a suitable approach suitable to the literary piece being analyzed. For instance, a story with female protagonists may be best analyzed using feminist approach. On the other hand, a historical novel would be best seen using historical perspective. Now, what are the approaches in writing critics? First, we have structuralist or formalist approach. It can be used in almost all literary works because language and structure are innate aspects of any literary piece. In this approach, first we have genre. A work may be under prose, example, essay novels, short stories, novellas, and scripts, or classified as poetry, sonnets, lyric poems, epics, ballads, odes, and others. Next, under structuralist approach, we have structure and organization. A work structure and organization can tell you a lot about the kind of message it wants to convey. Some novels are narrated in a linear, chronological fashion, while others skip around in time. Next is point of view. It refers to who is telling or narrating a story. Under structuralist approach, we also have diction and syntax. For diction, it means about word choice is also considered in analyzing a text, whether a character uses dry clinical language or flowery prose with lots of exclamation points can tell you a lot about his or her attitude and personality. And for syntax, these are word order and sentence construction. Syntax is a crucial part of establishing an author's narrative voice. And lastly, under structuralist or formalist approach, we have tone, imagery, and figurative language. Tone means the mood or feeling of the text. While imagery, it is a language that appeals to the senses, representing things that can be seen, smelled, heard, tasted, or touched. And for figurative language, this is a language uh, which is not meant to be interpreted literally. The most common types of figurative language are metaphors and similes, which compare two unlike things in order to suggest a similarity between them. For the second kind of approach, we have moralist approach. The moralist or intellectual approach in literary criticism is concerned with essence and values present in a text. To study literature from the moral intellectual perspective is therefore to determine whether a work conveys a lesson or message and whether it can help readers have better lives and improve their understanding of the world. Third, we have feminist approach. Feminist approach in literary criticism is concerned with the ways in which literature relates the economic, political, social, and psychological roles of women in a general. In this approach, the importance of women in the society is being underscored. And we have the fourth approach, historical approach. 
Historical criticism makes use of historical evidence and investigates the context in which a literary work was written, including facts about the author's life and the historical and social circumstances of the time. Wow, we learned a lot today. Now guys, let's practice what we have learned. Now, get ready with your bullpen and paper. In this activity, you are going to identify what literary approach is described in each of the following items. Write F.O. for formalist, F.E. for feminist, M.O. for moralist, and H.I. for historical approach. Write your answers on your paper. Learners, please refer to your self-learning module for the rest of the activities.